morning everybody. Well, it's afternoon at the moment as I record this, but I'm going to be uploading this in the morning. So, here is a white and yellow Gem Snow Tremper Hett Eclipse, which we produced in 2020. 2020? I was going to say 2021. It was 2020 when we produced this one, this boy. You see the paradox in there on his head. He's such a gorgeous boy. 50 grams at the minute. He's not quite as heavy as I'd like him to be, but he's so active. This boy is actually going to be going down to George Bailiff at Elite Geckos, along with his sister, which we produced this year. I've got her here as well, so I'll just show her in a minute. Once this boy's calmed down again. So, I don't want to do a standard introductory YouTube video. I just want to get straight in, do it. Um, but this is the format that I'm going to be doing these in. So, I will be recording these videos. You'll only see my hands. You'll never see my face. Um, and only ever hear my voice. Unless I do an Instagram live. Um, in which case, obviously, you'll see my face. I might jump on one with somebody else, or I don't know. Maybe down the line. We'll see. We'll see how this goes anyway. But at least now you've heard my voice. You can see my geckos. Um, and my, I'm going to get the bearded dragons down as well um, along the way. For anyone that doesn't know me and hasn't seen me before, I will put my face up like there, or maybe over there, um, just so you can see me. I'll leave it on for two seconds. But, yeah, so this is the format that I want to do these videos in because I do want to do something with YouTube. It's something that I have thought about in the past. Um, and obviously we've not been able to get to the shows. Uh, Doncaster show has been off for the last 18 months, two years. Um, and I know how many beautiful geckos and reptiles have been produced at the moment. I've seen various breeders posting pictures online of their projects um, and honestly there's so many nice nice projects going about the bells bell stripes tangs i'm in love with them all but um so we're only a small hobbyist breeder uh, we keep it really small small and selective um but i have really really loved producing these white and yellow gem snows i do love gems I don't know what it was about the gems. When I first started in this hobby, back in 2019, I think it was, September 2019, when we went to the show, um, I took my son to the reptile show and we ended up getting two geckos, um, a an Afghan tangerine green line het tremper and uh, an electric tangerine pos het eclipse from... I always forget the guy's name. But it was Surrey Geckos. So we got them from Surrey Geckos, which is now owned by Neil um, Ventris over at LRVV. Um, and that started us off. That's That kick-started our passion into breeding, really. We, we did it as like a bit of a, um, just an experiment type. We wanted to breed a couple of lizards. Um, me and my son, who was... Oh, he was in 2019, so he would have been eight at the time, and he wanted a couple of geckos and have baby gecko. You know what kids are like; um, they want to try everything, don't they? But yeah, it really, really kickstarted my passion for breeding as well. Some of the tangerines that that pairing kicked out was ridiculous, so bright. And there were some tangerines that I released actually that I should have held on to. Um, I will sh I'll show you some of the photos um, from that pairing um, when when I bring his, this guy's mum down uh, in another video. I'll, I'll show you some of the stuff that she's kicked out. But honestly, some stunning tangerines and that really sort of just hooked. It hooked me. Um, and then moving on from that, I stepped away from the tangerines and I wanted to work with the gem snows. I saw this boy's dad, um, a white and yellow gem snow raptor, 
um, over at the Gecko Lounge. Michael Edge um, sold me a, a, the white and yellow Dream Snow Raptor. Absolutely stunning. I'll do a video about him as well. But yeah, that really sort of um, it's done me good. It's really done me good because the the stuff that that pairing. It's a, it's a really odd pairing as well. It's it's the Afghan Tangerine Green Line Het Tremper to White and Yellow Gem Snow Raptor, and it's kicked out some really odd odd things. I've got the White and Yellow Cream Sickle upstairs. White and Yellow Cream Sickle Gem. I'll bring him down. Um, at some point, do a video about him. But yeah, like I say, this is just like um, the first of many videos I will do and I will put out. Um, I'm not going to keep these, these videos too long. But if you've got any questions or anything like that that you want to put out to me, throw them down in the comments. I'll also be showing the things that I've got available from uh, like surplus Leos to the ones that I'm keeping, holding back. But this boy is absolutely gorgeous. I'm really glad actually that he's going down to George at Elite Geckos because I wanted to do something with him this year. I wanted to pair this boy this year, but I had no idea what to pair him to. I didn't know which direction to go with him. Um, so I'm, I'm doing a straight up trade. I'm picking a couple of Geckos up off George um, this weekend and I'm dropping him, this boy, and his sister off. His sister's also a white and yellow gem snow tremper. Hey, Eclipse. But yeah, hopefully George will be able to do something. Something really nice with this uh, this boy. Right, if you bear with me, I will put this boy back in his enclosure and I will get him his sister that we produced this year. And here she is. This girl's absolutely stunning as well. You can see the blushing around the bands just coming through. So we produced her this year. She's just as active, so young. I can't remember how much this one weighs actually. But she's gorgeous. I don't think the lighting, so I bought a, a new ring light and I don't think the lighting on the ring light actually does the colours of these any justice because the colour of the banding is so much brighter in person than it is on the video. And no doubt over time this girl will change much like her brother did. They all do, don't they? All of the Leos, they change over time as they grow so much and they grow so fast. I'm going to put this girl away in a minute. I'm not going to keep her out too long because look, you can see that the, um, the light's affecting her eyes, I think. Oops. But this girl is so gorgeous. They all are, but I think the Gem Snow Trempers have been my absolute favourite this year. Let me just put her next to her brother so you can see. Two. 
beautiful pair of gem snows. The other thing I didn't want to do when making these videos, let's put this girl back. The other thing I didn't want to do when making these videos was talk about the husbandry and the care because I know that there's a podcast out there already that talks about that kind of thing. Um, Lily Rose, they've got a podcast going, which is, uh, I'm not sure how, how often they upload, but they talk about the husbandry and care. And I don't want to, I wanted to keep this different because I don't want to step on anybody's toes because everybody's doing their own thing. But I just wanted to show off some of the the stunning echoes that we've got. The reptiles and the bearded dragons we've got. So there you go. Thank you for watching the first video. And I hope you will all subscribe and hit the notification button, bell button, so you can uh, get notified of when we upload. Stunning. Stunning. I'm not sure which one I'm going to bring down next, actually. The next video might be this one's, this boy's mum. I've not given him a name. Um, I've not given the girl a name either. Um, I've not named them solely because I knew that they'd be going. Wouldn't be holding them back. As much as I would have loved to have held this one back and done something with him, I just knew that there wasn't there wasn't a root a specific root project that I was thinking of for him. But yeah, right. I will sign off now, and um, thank you all for watching.